Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, sometimes hair care, so if that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, follow me on Instagram where I post all my updated skincare routines, products I'm loving, and we get to be a bit more personable. Today's lesson is an important one, and one I kind of forget isn't common knowledge. This is all about how to layer up your skincare routine. So the order that they go in, if there's waiting times between each one, if you should use some in the morning or in the evening. So get Get a pen and paper ready and take notes and maybe get a drink or something because it has the potential to be quite a long video. But we are going to go through every possible step of a skincare routine. And I'm going to tell you when I personally think it's best to use it during the day, how many times a week, in what order, and if you have to wait between products. So yes, this will be every possible step you could do of a routine, but that doesn't mean you should or have to do every step of this routine um, all the time. This is also going to be more reflective of a very intense evening routine. Routine. So for a morning routine, um, I just recommend cleansing, toning, moisturizing, and using sunscreen. But whatever products you do choose to use, whatever order they show up in this video is the order that you should use them in. Okay, let's go. So first up is your first cleanser, often referred to as an oil cleanser, usually in an oil form or a balm form. These cleansers are oil-based, so they help to remove things like sunscreen, and if you wear makeup or tinted moisturizer, they help to remove that. Also the excess layer of sebum and even pollution as well. So oil cleansing is usually a must do for most people in the evening. So it removes all that top layer of dirt and debris so that your water cleanser can really do its job. Just add a few drops if it's an oil or a fingerful if it's a balm to your skin, rub gently over the skin, then add a bit of warm water to emulsify and then rinse away. If you do wear makeup and sunscreen, which I hope you do, you should do this every evening every day. Then you go right in to your water-based cleanser, our regular cleanser that we all use. This is the step that removes the dirt, the sweat, and other impurities that the oil cleanser may not have been able to pick up. Whilst oil cleansers are a little bit standard, they kind of just do one job, water cleansers can really be more catered to you. For example, a cleanser with tea tree oil in it to help with acne-prone skin, for example. You can do this a maximum of twice a day, morning and evening, but any more is definitely over-cleansing. Just apply a small amount to your fingers, rub over damp skin, and then wash away. If your next step is a toner, leave your skin wet. If your next step is a mask, dry your skin. If your next step is a physical exfoliator, leave your skin wet. If your next step is a chemical exfoliator or a serum, or your moisturizer, leave your skin dry. So exfoliator will be our next step. Used one to three times a week, depending on your skin type and what your skin is saying to you. Exfoliators remove dead skin that makes your skin look clogged and dull and dry and aged. And unclogs pores that can otherwise lead to blackheads, spots, breakouts, and enlarged pores. They generally just make your skin look a lot healthier and brighter. So there are two main types of exfoliation, physical and chemical. Physical uses abrasive ingredients to physically scrub away that dead skin. With a physical exfoliator, you just gently rub that over damp skin, rinse away, and then pat at your skin, leaving it a little bit dry, a little bit moist. A chemical exfoliator, so an AHA, a BHA, or even a PHA, are used to almost unglue that dead skin from your face and actually work deeper in your pores as well, especially BHAs. With a physical exfoliator, there's two ways to use it. You can pour it onto a cotton pad, then gently wipe over your face face, allow that to dry before moving on to your next step. You can also pour it into your hand like a toner, then pat away onto your skin, again leaving it to dry before you move on to your next step. I personally find that if you don't let your physical exfoliator dry, it can almost like um, foam when it comes in contact with your next step. When it comes to exfoliating, you can exfoliate morning or night, especially with a physical exfoliator. Either one works, however I just find that evening's better um, because exfoliating also allows products to settle into your skin properly and I like to let them do their magic over Overnight. If you're using a chemical exfoliator, AHA has been proven to kind of show um, signs of irritation when um, uh, exposed to sunlight. So either wait for the evening or use a very good SPF. 
I use a BHA during the day though sometimes and I'm absolutely fine. Here is now where I'd use a wash off mask if I was going to use one. I would only use a wash off mask in conjunction with an exfoliator if it was a physical exfoliator, not in conjunction with a chemical exfoliator because you don't want to be washing away your chemical exfoliator. So maybe on days when you're not exfoliating, a wash off mask in the evening is a great one to use. Wash off mask can be used one to three times a week, I guess, depending what it says on the back of the um, product. They tend to be a little bit drying like a clay mask so I would personally only use them once a week. Depending on the mask these are actually very good at um, giving you like a deeper cleanse in your pores especially a clay mask. Usually you apply them to a dry face, wait for 10 to 15 minutes on average, and then rinse away. Dry your face and then move on to the next step, which would be a toner. A favorite step of mine that I feel is completely necessary, and it bothers me when people say it's not, mainly because of the difference I feel it's made to my skin. Toners can help balance the pH of your skin. It can help your other ingredients work to their fullest as well. And keep your skin hydrated, so I personally love to use a toner. Um, if you're just gonna cleanse and tone um, after you've cleanse, leave your skin wet and then apply your toner over the top, then pat that in very, very gently. Another way you could apply a toner is to a dry face on a cotton pad, swipe that all over and then you can just kind of leave your face a little bit damp as well. You could also pour into the palm of your hands, pat over your skin, you don't have to pat in fully. Or if you have a spray bottle toner, spray over your face, then pat in again. Again, leaving your face a little bit damp with toner. I personally use a toner morning and night, I think they're great in, at all times of the day, then move right into your next step, which will be an essence. The essence, again, can be used morning and night every single day and is packed with ingredients just to make your skin look overall a lot better. So brightening ingredients, um, reduces the appearance of dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles. It's a great product to have, really. How you apply an essence really depends on the packaging. They come in loads of different kind of forms, much like the toner. Then again, no waiting time, move right onto the serum. Depending on the serum, you can use a serum usually morning and night if you want to. I personally prefer to use it in the evening just because, again, I feel like a serum has all the time to do its job. You'll find serums are often called ampoules or treatments. And these, I always refer to them as the like vitamin tablet um, of the skincare world. They're usually packed with very, very concentrated ingredients that target a particular skincare concern. So you just pop a few drops on your face, usually one, two, three, four, five. Massage in gently make sure it's fully absorbed, then move on to your next step, which if you're gonna use a sheet mask would be your sheet mask. These can be used morning or night, once a day. It's completely up to you, once a week, whatever you want really. But again, I like to use in the evening. They're a relaxing thing that you should take time with. And often if I'm gonna use a sheet mask, I'll skip a serum because sheet masks are usually um, drowning in serum themselves. So there's no real need to kind of double up on that serum really. Very easy to use, open, pop over your skin. I always leave Leave a sheet mask on my skin for five minutes less than the recommended time. You don't want a sheet mask drying out on your skin because it could do the opposite of what's it, what it's intended to do and actually withdraw moisture from your skin. So I'll usually leave them on for five to ten minutes, take off, kind of bundle it up, then get all that serum on my face and neck, pat in fully, and then move on to my next step, which will be the eye cream. Using the right eye cream morning and night can help reduce puffiness, um, potentially dark circles. Let me know if you have a miracle eye cream yet that does that. A lot of people ask me if they really need an eye cream, and the answer is kind of yes and no. Basically, the skin under your eyes, as we all know, is a lot thinner than the rest of the skin on your face. So it's more of like a tailored moisturizer for that particular area. So some moisturizers, if they're light enough, are perfectly fine to use under the eyes. You may find that heavy, heavy, thick moisturizers gives you all those little white bumps under your eyes. So sometimes it's just best to play it safe and use a dedicated eye cream, but you shouldn't expect miracles from them. I just like to take a pea size amount, dot that under my eyes and make sure it's fully absorbed, then move on to the next product, straight into the next product, which is your moisturizer. An essential step for everyday use, morning and evening. Using the right moisturizer for your skin can completely transform your skin. Keeping it balanced, helping you if you're too dry, helping you if you're too oily. Guys, if you have oily skin, do not be scared of moisturizers. It will change your skin for the better if you use a moisturizer, I promise you. And there are usually moisturizers out there to cater for every skin type as well, ranging from gel to the thickest of creams. So 
So yeah, use every day, morning and night. Dot it around your face, then rub in gently. Make sure it's patted in nice. Then move on to your next step. If this was the evening, your next step would be a night pack or a night mask. These can often be used in conjunction with your regular moisturizer, but night masks are um, very specific to what they do. They are kind of like a night cream, um, but they're more like a mask that you leave on overnight. They usually have more concentrated ingredients in. So for example, I have a night mask, especially for evening out my skin tone. I have one especially for um, times that I've, I've been breaking out. They just add the extra layer of protection and care for your face. So at night, this would be your last step, and then you just rinse this away in the morning, applying it the exact same way you would use a moisturizer. If this was the morning after a moisturizer, we'd go into our final step, which would be the sunscreen. Sunscreen is essential for keeping your skin looking its best and protecting it from the most harmful, murderous thing in the world, which is the sun. <laughs> Once your moisturizer is fully absorbed, I then apply my sunscreen in the same way I would apply a moisturizer, making sure it's covering my face and neck. Always follow the instructions of how the brand recommends you apply their sunscreen, but I like to put it on at least 30 minutes before I leave the house. Not for any reason other than I prefer the way it almost like not oxidizes on your skin, but I prefer the way it looks once it's settled onto your skin. If I put sunscreen on, then go out immediately, I feel a bit like, um, a bit, it feels all a bit heavy and a little bit like, uh, I, don't know. I don't know. Can you believe I forgot to talk about oils? Oils are something that you can use morning or night, but it's usually recommended that you use them in the evening, mainly because they don't feel so great on your skin during the day. Again, they can be used every day as well, even if you have oily skin. And if you're using it in the evening, it would be your final step. I'd personally recommend using this alongside a moisturizer, not in place of a moisturizer. So usually a few drops within your moisturizer does the trick. So there we have it. My back hurts. Oh my God, that's a long time. Facial mist can be applied throughout the day over the top of whatever. Just be sure to reapply your sunscreen. Is there anything I've missed? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't think that was a fun video, but I hope that answered um, your questions. Again, this is the way I personally apply all my my products and a way that I see a lot of people do it. Some people, you know, will swap um, the essence and serum around, or maybe they'll apply a serum after their face mask, whatever really. Um, there are different, you know, things you can do as well, depending what order you're using them and what you're using in one evening. There's many diff different things you can do, like applying a toner before a, a clay mask um, to keep your moisture in and then reapplying the toner. There are a few different things. So yeah, any questions, leave them down below. But that is it for me now, guys. I will see you next time.